Namaste guys. Today we are going to be looking at Microsoft, Apple, Alphabet, Google. These three tech giants, the prices, the stock prices are significantly down from the recent high, which is likely very in January. The stock price is down due to the ongoing beer market. We are currently in beer market. The S&P 500 is now 23% down from the recent high, which is January. These stocks, they are at a price where you can get them as a long-term investor. If you are planning to invest for the long haul, this is the right time to get this giant at a significantly cool price. Microsoft is trading about just around two, uh, less than $250. Apple is just about $132. While Alphabet is around $2,100. Alphabet, $2,100. Alphabet was around $3,500. It down significantly. Let's have a look at the percentage. Well, let's confirm the percentage. They were down. Let's see their finances. Let's see what, what we can get. I mean, whether this is the right time to get them. In fact, it is the right time. We're in bear market. How do you want to get them? Do you want to go all in one? Do you want to do the dollar cost averaging? I suggested, I would suggest dollar cost averaging. However, be careful. You need to do valuation. But let's have a look at this stock. Let's have a look at their charts. Let's see what we can deduce from the technical charts. We are basically looking at technical charts. We're not looking at um, statements. Let's look at the technical chart. Let's see what we can get from price action. Let's have a look. Here is the technical chart for Microsoft. This is a, a daily chart. Microsoft, uh, as you can see, Microsoft is also trending down when the air market, so I expect all stock to actually be trending down. Um, however, um, there, there are very few stocks that are not actually trending down. That also depends on some factor. But here, Microsoft is below 20-day moving average, 50-day moving average. We're trending down, and as you can see, we have, we've been having uh, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, low, and uh, uh, occasionally it broke out of the channel and returned back to the channel. So uh, this is the upper hand and this is the down, you know. So we just might actually move back up to up to this level and this might, might stay there as a support for it and either we break it on the upside or we are further down. So um, the stock is trending down. Microsoft all-time high here is 348 and the 52 weeks low is 241. 52 weeks high is 348. From, from that level, Microsoft has been trending down. We are in bear market or all, all stocks are responding within the bear market territory. So let's, um, let's have a look at it on a weekly chart. On a weekly chart, as you can see, it's even far more glaring uh, here, as you can see, it, it actually appears that Microsoft is on a support. Um, market is closed at the moment, but we will draw um, the, the, the channel so you can see it's actually on a support here and it's a significant support because that support has actually held in the past. As you can see, it uh, comes from somewhere here down here and also this this uh, channel trend here is, is serving as a support here um we are both 20 day moving average on a weekly chart below 50 day and 20 day moving average let's have a look at it on a daily chart let's go back to daily chart as you can see it on a daily chart we are trending down and Let's quickly have a look at what it has dropped from the all-time high, which is uh, 349. Microsoft has actually dropped from here to here. It has dropped about uh, 20, over 
meaning that you have a discount of 29%. Let's have a look at um, Alphabet, Alphabet, Google, Alphabet C, Alphabet, and this is the weekly chart, and as you can see, it's very similar to Microsoft. There's a significant support, just like Microsoft around here, which it appears that the, um, the, spot is, uh, the uh, support is holding. As you can see, but we are below 20 day moving average and 50 day moving average, but above 200 day moving average on the weekly chart. Uh, and as you can see, um, the mark is actually trending downward. It is downward trending even on the on, on a 52 um, on a weekly chart. Let's have a look at what it has actually dropped from the all-time high, which is um, I think is three hundred and three thousand forty-two dollar. Come to date, um, Alphabet has dropped about twenty-nine or about thirty percent. So you have thirty percent discount on Alphabet, which is Google. Let's go back to oh, sorry about that. So let's go back to daily chart, daily chart for Alphabet. I, I, I hope it. It responds now. Okay, sorry about that. Here is the daily chart for Alphabet. As you can see, there was a gap down here. This gap has to be covered one way or the other. Uh, we are trading below 20 day moving average. Below 20 day moving average. Um, there's no need to draw the chart here. I mean, you can see there's a significant, uh, uh, the same support that we saw uh, in the 20, um, weekly chart is also here. So it is sitting on that uh, support, and we can say that the, the, the stock has actually been trading within within here. It might just be consolidating around here, you know, of, of recent. So it is is below 20 day moving average, but sorry, yeah, 20 day moving average. Um, the the lowest it has gone is 2044, and the highest is 3042 dollar. The historical high is. I mean that's a historical low. So let's let's have a look at um, Apple. Apple. Let's have a look at Apple. Apple. Let's have a look at Apple here. Um, my network is a bit slow, so it's uh, it, it's affecting. The response time for um for the chart apple let's have a look at apple okay good apple is trading um the the market close on apple at, at 131 dollar the historical high here is 182 so the 52 week low is if you see this low is $128, it is trending down like most other stocks that within the um, within the beer market. Let's uh, let's have a look. Let's let's draw a quick uh, support here. It broke down. It broke down this support down here. So this support will serve as a resistance on, on the way back uh, on the way down. Here you can see that the trend has actually was uh, downward here, as you can see. Sorry, guys. As you can see it, uh, we are trading below 20 day moving average, below 50 day moving average and 200 day moving average on a daily chart. Let's have a look at it on a weekly chart. Well, on a weekly chart, uh, you are not seeing it a lot because the um, Apple had a split early last year or so. Or early, uh, that was 2020. There was, there was a split. So this gap you saw here it was due to the split. Split it was around $515. But as you can see, uh, this stock has actually been been down for for quite some time. There's not much you can see on a weekly chart here. Yeah? So let's go back to daily chart or, or let's have a look at it. it on a monthly chart, yeah, you see, it it, it 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 more or less 
the same thing. So let's go back to daily chart. We can uh, analyze the, it on a daily chart. And um, for to see what it has dropped from the 182 um, the, the eye, we would do, uh, we'll just check what is that, what it has dropped from, I think the uh, January high, is it? Yeah, from the, from the high here, it has dropped um, about 28, 28.6%. So you have about 28% discount from the recent high. Now trading $131. So guys, um, you need to see these stocks as being there on sale. Bear market doesn't mean you should run away. It means that you should take the opportunity to buy more, to buy more of the stocks you want. And if you are buying, buy value, buy stocks that are, buy company that you know they are doing well, that their finances is good. This is why I'm analyzing Microsoft, Google, and Apple. These are three big tech giants. They're not going to disappear overnight. These are not businesses that you will not see their finances. They are, they are doing well. Um, the, the stock price does not reflect the value, the company itself. So this is the opportunity for you to grab these stocks while they are cheap. You're seeing the technical chart. You're seeing the uh, price action. Look, it's the right time to get these stocks. If you intend to keep the stock in the long haul, I mean, Warren Buffett recently, um, you know, he, he was quoted that he, he, he bought Apple around one, he didn't want 35 or 140 or so. Look, you, you there's no, don't run away from the market because we're in beer market. You can still make money in beer market. And beer market, you need to see it as sales. You know when you go on the stores and on the high streets and you, everywhere you see sales, 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 sales. You need to consider the market as same. Is on sale. Get these things for the long haul. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, but please make your valuation before you get any of these stocks. Valuation does matter. Do not listen to those who say valuation is not matter. It does matter. Put your phone in companies that are reliable, reliability. Companies like Procter and Gamble. Johnson & Johnson, Oracle, Cisco, Intel, and host of others. These are companies, I mean, uh, there, are, there are some pharmaceutical like Pfizer, AstraZeneca. These companies are there. Boeing, Boeing is still there. DIS, uh, Disney, this is significantly down. Check out JP Morgan. They're down. You need to buy shop. This is time to shop for the long haul. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. We continue to produce content that will support your investment journey. Thank you, please, for the video.